I'm Miss Miller and welcome to this wonderful video I've made about careers. First we wanted to invite some people from other professions to talk about their jobs. However, that did not go to plan. But it all went wrong immediately as we invited a police officer to come and see the Ducklands. So, I hope you've learned a lot about being a policeman today. Any questions? You? I want to play. After I've finished, any other questions? So we decided from a visit from a soldier would instill some of our discipline. Our only mistake there was choosing Miss Ramsey's class for the visit. But all those mindfulness lessons had the opposite effect. Right, everyone on the playground now, I want 15 laps. Go, go, go! another disaster. Plan C was to get them excited by inviting a real fashion designer. But yet again, the worst class was chosen. But it turns out Miss Davies' class has a very specific view of fashion. Hello Robins, today we have a real special guest, a fashion designer. Thank you for that introduction, Mrs Davies. Today I want you to unleash all of your creativity to show me the best clothes that you can come up with. On your table you have a piece of paper. Now, unleash all of your creativity. Where's all the colour? Where's all the joy? 
No, the only colour for clothes is black. Colour makes me vomit. Well done everyone, I thought those outfits were perfect. It was a complete waste of time. So we decided on a new approach. We invited a visitor into, into assembly where I could keep an eye on them. This time our choice of visitor was the problem. Hello, welcome to my assembly. I'm from Seven Trent Waters and today I'm going to be teaching you what you should and shouldn't flush down the toilet. First thing you can flush is toilet paper. The next thing you can flush is pee. And the only other thing you can flush is poo. <laughs> Not funny. This is really serious. You mustn't flush anything down the toilet other than pee, toilet paper and poo. <laughs> does it? It's just poo. <laughs> poo. <laughs> so here we are. After all that chaos, we decided to let our pupils interview our staff about their job before Red Hill. Then we made this video to share what they found out. We hope you enjoy this insights into our staff's lives. The first teacher we interviewed was Mrs. Grease. Her first job was unexpected to say the least. She was a rapper and she was known as the roast master. Because she would insult people, not because she was a chef. Who actually called her the roast master? Though? I think she was the only one who called herself that. Listen here, little Mel, you may be young and bold, but you're round so weak like a two-day-old mole. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I've seen rappers come and go, but you'll fade away. I'll end this battle now, no more to say. Oh, oh, oh. It looked like she loved that job. Yeah, but she stopped because it turns out if you insult someone, they insult you back. Yo, it's little mid in the house. Mrs. Grease better watch your back. <laughs> I'm about to drop some sick beats and put her skills on the rack. Oh! <laughs> she may be old and crusty, but I'm young and fly. I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave her in the dust when saying goodbye. <laughs> She went into teaching because children, if she insults them, they're not allowed to insult her back. Yeah, it wasn't the most inspiring interview. In Victorian times, um, all the sewage was, put, uh, was pumped into the River Thames, and on one hot summer day, day, there was a really bad stink, and that was called the, the Great Stink of 1858. Now, don't get that confused with the great stink of 2024, Luca! <laughs> you're so old, you're the great stink that worked out the dinosaurs. We interviewed Mr. Wright next. We weren't too surprised to find out his first job was in a cafe, but we were surprised that the cafe didn't sell any coffee. In fact, he said that he'd never tried coffee before and that discovering coffee lost him his job. Hey, Mr. Wright, I've got you a coffee. Oh, what? Coffee!
Where did you get this from? Well, Starbucks, of course. That. He tried working in other cafes, but he kept getting fired because he kept stealing the supplies. It was a dark time for him back then, but Red Hill saved his life. He got teary just talking about it. How can I get some of this coffee? It's free to work. lot of tales to tell. Yeah, but we didn't realise how many jobs she had and how far they stretched back. That was a long interview. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living, barely getting by. It's all taking and no giving, they just use your mind. Want to move ahead, but the boss won't seem to let 
much quicker to chat to. He only had one job, and it wasn't so surprising. He was a footballer, but the team he played for was so surprising. Mum, Mum, I've got the contract. I've just signed it. I've signed for the greatest club in the world. Can you believe it? I know, Mum, Mum, I know, Mum. Forest till we die. It all made sense after during the interview. It turns out, after some poor performance, he was dropped out of the squad. He never played again, and he... Since then, he became a sworn enemy of Nottingham Forest. He only became a teacher to stop future generations from supporting them. Okay, today we're going to be doing the synonyms. synonyms. So, first, I hate Nottingham Forest. I hate Nottingham Forest. I despise Nottingham Forest. I despise Nottingham Forest. I detest Nottingham Forest. I detest Nottingham Forest. Who can think of another synonym? Okay, Poppy. Uh, I dislike Nottingham Forest. Good, but not strong enough. Anyone else? Sorry, me. Get that filth out of my classroom now. <laughs> Mrs. Barney was similar to Mr. Day in a way. Yeah, her job wasn't too much of a surprise. We knew she loved singing, so being a singer wasn't too much of a surprise. The style wasn't as quiet as we expected. Prepare yourself. to wear these are so uncomfortable Shh. why do we have to wear these they're so roasting are you guys hot as well He knew as a PE teacher that he would never have to wear trousers again. All the rest is history. Feels like Mrs. Harrison's worked here forever. She was a teaching assistant in my grandma's class. But it turns out that this was the only job that, um, in which her particular skills were helpful.
whole, the new one I've been waiting the whole life. I can't believe it. These birds are nesting nearby. They need to be absolutely quiet though. No one has ever seen this sight before. Hey David! Even if it didn't teach us a single thing about careers. We wanted to find out what they were like at school next. I wonder what it was like being at school that long ago.
I'm just glad that we get to go to school in this century. Yeah, Prince Primary School at the best time. I wouldn't do anything. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. Falls into place when you fall into pieces. You find love that lasts a while. Do you lose to reason? Saying, God, I'm alive. But the whole place is quiet. And there's something that you can't place, but you can't deny it. Don't know whether you want a place in the coast of the country. You can't stay here, it's hard to face. And it feels too ugly. Light a fire inside yourself. You let it burn. Stare up at a starless sky. You say, It's like I'm still here with you. Like I'm still here with you I don't, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye I'm past coming back with the light of the morning Look down on myself like a patient in surgery And I used to watch my mother move Like God was in the room It's a part of my soul I found out here with a trace of no one Past box of photos, I rip myself open I'm in bed and I'm wondering If I'm callous but hoping Can I fix what is broken? It's like I'm still here with you It's like I'm still here with you I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say goodbye It's like I'm still here with you It's like I'm still Quiet. Even something that you can't place, but you can't deny it.